What's up gals and pals, it's your boy Vino and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, last week I brought you guys a video where I made three delicious cocktails using one of my favorite fall spirits, apple brandy. And not just any apple brandy, I'm talking about Calvados. I'll put a link to it right up here for you guys to check out and down in the description. So, you know, in the process of researching these different Calvados recipes, I came across a couple that had an ingredient that's really kind of as American as apple pie and baseball, and that ingredient is maple syrup. I mean, look, when you think of maple syrup, what do you think of? You think of like Vermont, maybe upstate New York, or you know, maybe anywhere in the New England, Northeast area. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to make a couple of cocktails where I use maple syrup because what is more American than maple syrup in the fall? All right, folks? So make sure you stick around, because we are gonna. Did he just say maple syrup is an American thing? Like, dude, it's it's literally on our flag, the leaf. No, oh, whatever. Anyway, so um, in light of that, I think we need to have a uh, uh, a maple off, if you will. Uh, I'm gonna do some drinks. You're gonna do whatever you're gonna do, and uh, hey, we'll let the the audience decide where is the real home of maple syrup. So stick around, cause we're gonna boogie down Canadian style. All right, first of all, Rob, I do not appreciate you cutting me off. They're one of my catchphrases and then repurposing it for yourself. I mean, how rude is that, pal? I, look, I know I'm a small channel, but believe it or not, there's people watching me, buddy, right? And it's very embarrassing, very embarrassing. But all is forgiven because you are my buddy, even though you're from Canada and you think your maple syrup and uh, whatnot is better than ours here in the US of A. You're nuts, you're crazy. So if you wanna have a maple off, let's go for it, pal. Let's start right now. I'm gonna begin with a cocktail I call the Mule's hind leg, all right? Let's look at what's in the sauce, right? The first thing we're gonna need is a half an ounce of some dry gin. All right, you can use whatever gin you want. If you want to use some Canadian gin, brother, you go ahead and do it. Or whoever watching at home, you can do whatever you want, all right? So let's see. We're gonna do a half an ounce of some Calvados, all right? Uh, you can use any apple brandy you have. You don't have to use Calvados, but this is what I'm using. This is what I like. Um, if you have some Apple Jack or some locally made uh, apple brandy, go for it. All right, then we're gonna do a half an ounce of Benedictine. Now, Benedictine is a delicious, Herbal liqueur has some very like nice seasonal flavors that go into it. It's very, very delicious stuff. So this is gonna be very nice tasting cocktail. Should have some depth to it, you know? Then we're gonna do a half an ounce of apricot liqueur, which is gonna add some more fruit flavors to it. So I'm very happy about this, All right? The apple and the maple should go very nice together, right? So half an ounce of your apricot liqueur. And then we're going to do a bar spoon of maple syrup. And I'm going to be using some maple syrup from right here in New Jersey. Huh? Not even from New York and Vermont. We're going to go to New Jersey because even New Jersey makes great maple syrup here. Right? So let's go a bar spoon of maple syrup. Oh yeah. And that looks so good. All right. We're going to put that to the side. Let me make sure I get all the syrup off of my spoon here. All right. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to add some ice to my mixing glass. And we're going to stir that for about uh, 25 to 30 seconds. All right, folks, I think we gave that a nice, healthy stir. Oh, oh, that's good. And the aroma's coming off of it. It's delicious. And I'm definitely, I just offered that little taste off the spoon. I got the maple syrup. And I think this is going to be a delicious cocktail. All right, so now let's go ahead and get our glass out. I had a coupe here, which I, has been chilling like a villain. Let's go ahead and pour out our drink. Oh, look at that beautiful color we're getting out of the cocktail here. All right, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, folks, so we're gonna go ahead and garnish that with an orange peel, All right? Let's go ahead and get that prepped up. All right. I'm going to express the oils onto the drink. Oh yeah, beautiful. And then just do a little bit of uh, rubbing for good luck. And as you guys know, I like to clean up my uh, my skin, my um, peels here. So let's go ahead and clean this up. Then we'll just dump it inside of the drink. And there you have it, folks, the mule's hind leg. All right, now normally I wait to the end of the video to try and taste these bad boys, but since this is a maple loaf, I wanna go ahead and get right to it. Now, the one thing I will say is that it's a pretty light pour, um, you know, 
maybe I'm a lush, but it seems like a light pour. It's four ounces, a two, it's two ounces. It's a very light pour, but let's go ahead and give it a sippy sip. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You know what actually reminds me of? A little bit of the Angel Face cocktail, which I did make in the, in the uh, last video, the Calvados video. Except with this, you get that really delicious maple flavor that you, it's very, you know, it's, it's got its own type of thing going on. And it, and it adds some viscosity to the cocktail too. And then the Benedictine, which adds those really kind of, you know, almost like Christmas-like notes. You know what I'm saying? There's some delicious stuff. This is a really nice cocktail. Oh yeah. It's a little on the sweeter side of the, of the cocktail spectrum, but not a sweet cocktail. You just do have, you do have, you know, Two liqueurs, two liqueurs plus some maple syrup, so you do get some uh, some sweetness here, right, folks? Anyway, Rob, what do you got for us, pal? Bring it on. All right, Vino, for our first one, I'm going to be making a maple martini. For my base spirit, I'm going to be using this maple eau de vie. That's a neutral spirit distilled from maple syrup. We've also got a local vermouth from Taz Winery, and we're going to be using my favorite bitters, maple walnut from Kinsep Distillery. These are all Canadian ingredients. Let's do it. So I really love this maple eau de vie from OM Distillery. Um, it's it's creamy yet still light and refreshing. Uh, it's not sweet, obviously, because it's a distilled spirit, but it really does have that maple flavor, maple essence. So two ounces of that. After that, we've got a local vermouth from Taz Winery. Um, this is fairly sweet for a dry vermouth and has a nice kind of hint of uh, cinnamon, which I think is going to play really nicely with the maple syrup. So an ounce. I like my martinis two to one, so that's what I'm sticking with. Two ounces of our spirit and one ounce of our vermouth. After that, I know we don't usually sweeten a martini, but this is a maple martini. So we're going to sweeten it with a, just a bar spoon of maple syrup. So this is, of course, Canadian maple syrup, the good stuff. <laughs> and lastly, I always like to add a little bit of bitters to my martinis. Usually I go orange bitters, but we're doing maple, so maple walnut. These are my favorite bitters uh, for the fall uh, fall season. They're so good. So a couple dashes of that. We're going to add some ice to our mixing glass, and we're going to give this a really good stir. Double time. <laughs> okay, stir until everything. we got a good dilution and a good chill. That sounds about right. We're going to be serving this in a nice chilled Nick and Nora glass. Look at that. I love chilled glasses. They look like they're glowing. All right. Nice, slow, sexy pour. Loving that color. It's clear like a martini, but it's just a nice somewhat amber hue from that uh, from that maple syrup. And we're going to garnish pretty classically with a nice um, peel of lemon. Now, I was really happy with this. It's light, refreshing and be yet creamy, and it does have that nice maple flavor. Back to you, Vino. All right, Rob, I, I gotta say I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. You brought some of that Canadian maple action, and that looked like a pretty damn good cocktail. But now it's time for my second cocktail, folks, and this one is called an expense account. Now let's look at what is in the sauce. The first thing we're gonna need is a half an ounce of some aged rum. I'm gonna be using El Dorado 8. But you can use whatever uh, aged rum you have, all right? Now we're gonna do a half an ounce of a very dark or black rum. Um, I'm gonna be using Pompero Anniversary, so a half an ounce of your very dark rum. And your black strap or whatever you wanna use, right folks? And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of Calvados. All right, or you, or you can use something like Apple Jack if you have that, all right. And then I'm gonna do a half an ounce, we're revisiting Benedictine, we're gonna do a half an ounce of Benedictine. So similar, uh, you know, ingredients to the last cocktail, but uh, but obviously not the same exact thing. All right, there you go. And then we're gonna do once again a bar spoon of our maple syrup from good old U.S. of A. All right. Like I said, one bar spoon. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. God bless America. <laughs> I love my Canadian friends. I love you all. This is a good friendly competition, all right, folks? And then we're gonna do two dashes of orange bitters. One, two, there you go. I have three for good luck, there you go. And let me get some ice into my mixing glass. Look, if you're not having fun making cocktails, stop making cocktails, guys. All right, don't take yourself too seriously. Don't let these snob tenders uh, ruin your appetite for cocktail making, you know what I'm saying? Let's stir this up for about 25 to 30 seconds.
All right, folks, I think I stirred that up enough. Let's go ahead and give it a sample. Ooh, well that's, that's, that's interesting tasting already. All right, anyway, folks, let's go ahead and get our glass out. We're gonna be serving that in a rocks glass. I have my chilling like a villain right here. Then we're just gonna use one big old ice cube. And uh, let's go ahead and pour this bad boy out. Where's my julep in it? Here it is. There it is, all right. All right, let's go ahead. All right, I feel like I almost lost grip of the, uh, the, the julep strainer there. Like a fool myself on live TV, folks. All right, so there it is, beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get myself another orange peel. All right, folks, and then you know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna express it onto the glias. All right, beautiful, there you go. And then I'm gonna rub it for some good luck and clean it up because Fino don't like no hobo peels, right? There you go, folks. And I'm just gonna, let's square it off there. Let's get, boop, and boop, there you go. And I'm just gonna dump that right into the glass and there we have it, folks, our expense account cocktail. All right, so as soon as I stopped recording, I realized I forgot one ingredient. I was supposed to do a uh, absinthe rinse or a few dashes of absinthe, so we're gonna do that right now. So let me just pour this up on top. One, two, three, do it a little bit like that. Then we'll give, <laughs> we'll give it a stir because you know what? It's cocktails at home, baby. There's no rules, right? There you go. All right, now we got our absinthe uh, uh, um, rinse. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy sippy sip. Hey, what are you gonna do, right? Mistakes happen. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that is so nice. And I'm glad I did the absinthe rinse, even if it was after the cocktail was finished, because it does add some nice nuanced licorice flavors, some nice notes to go along with the, um, with the Benedictine, which also adds a little bit, again, like those seasonal kind of flavory notes. Um, you do get a little bit of licorice in that as well. This is, this is a very nice cocktail. Mmm, really good. And you're really getting the, you know, the rum on the back end and the Pompero is really what's kind of showing up. You know, it's a, a little bit of a sweeter style rum. So you're really picking that up on the back end. Very nice cocktail, folks. And then, of course, you're getting the maple syrup. It's like really kind of coating the tongue. Again, adding some viscosity to the cocktail. You know, the, the, the maple syrup has done that for both of these cocktails, which I find very delicious and very interesting, right, folks? Anyway, there it is, folks. The two-part series to one, to one cocktail. This is called the expense account. Now, Rob, hopefully you get your cocktails done in one take as opposed to vino. So show me what you got next, pal. All right, for my next one, this is the Canadian Maple, a Canadian riff off of a Japanese maple. So obviously, instead of Japanese whiskey, we're using Canadian whiskey. We also have some maple syrup, of course, and an egg, egg white, because this is a sour. So I'm using Lot 40, but this is the peated edition, because the Japanese whiskeys are slightly smoky. Um, so we're gonna use a peated Canadian whiskey to add a little bit of that smokiness to it. So two ounces of our Canadian whiskey. This is a great whiskey, by the way. After that, we've got Whiskey Barrel Aged Maple Syrup from Kinsip Distillery, another uh, Canadian distillery. I'm using all Canadian ingredients today. Awesome. All right, it's so a half an ounce of maple syrup. All right, after that, the sour. We need our sour. Three quarter ounce of a lemon juice. This is pretty uh, basic. This is basically a sour with maple syrup. Last ingredient, an egg white. So crack your egg. Don't get the yolk in there. This is not a flip and discard the rest. Flippy move. We're gonna do a dry shake here. So a nice quick shake with no ice. Get everything nice and frothy and emulsified. And after that, we're going to dump some ice into our tin. There it is, make sure we get a nice good seal on there. Another smack. And then our second shake with ice to give it more chill and more foam. All right, looking good. We're serving this in a coupe or kind of a fancy stemmed glass. We're gonna double strain, make sure not to get any ice chips, but keep that foam. Look at that beautiful foam. It's nice, it's creamy. That's gonna be absolutely delicious. And what better way to garnish than with a donut with the same name, the Canadian Maple. It's basically a Boston cream with maple glaze. And there it is, a creamy, delicious maple whiskey sour, the Canadian Maple. All right, what else you got, Vino? Cheers. All right, Rob, what can I say, pal? I think you nailed it. Another delicious looking maple syrup cocktail. Look, I can't wait to try yours, buddy, and hopefully you'll get to try mine. I do know you love some Benedictine, so I think these cocktails are gonna be right up your alley. Now, I, I don't know who won this maple off between the US of A and Canada. 
but I do know that you guys won because you learned four new delicious cocktails using maple syrup. So hopefully you will give them a try. Now look, if you're not subscribed to my buddy Rob's channel, I put a link down in the description. Go ahead and check out his channel. Rob's a good friend of mine and he has a fantastic channel, all right guys? Now, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share it with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.